In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a sales invoice and explain the fields that make up the invoice creation form. Start by navigating to the Sales Invoices menu with a list of your invoices which can be filtered between All, Draft, Unpaid, Paid and Void. In the top right hand corner, you will see an Invoice Settings button that will allow you to review and amend your invoice preferences which allow you to set default credit terms, bank details, and more. Your invoice settings, which allow you to turn on additional invoicing features, such as discounts, PDF protection, and more. And finally, your invoice themes, which determine what your invoices look like. To create an invoice, click on the Create Invoice button. The invoice number should start from one, unless you have set a different starting invoice number in the preferences. It will increment from the previous invoice number in future. Select the customer in the drop down box. You can use the add link if you want to add a new customer from this menu. Next, select a date for the invoice. The due date in the next box along is automatically populated based on the invoice date you've just entered. Credit terms set in the customer defaults or invoice preferences determine what this date is. The reference box is optional and you can use this to enter a reference number if you use them. You'll be able to search for invoices by reference number using the search bar at the top of the page. The next box allows you to choose an invoice theme which will determine how your PDF invoice looks. If a theme isn't chosen, Clearbooks will default to the standard theme unless you have already set a default invoice theme. Now you can begin filling in the item details. Begin by adding a description of the invoice item, then select an appropriate account code. Account codes are important as they help to determine how transactions are accounted for in the reports later on. Next, type in the quantity of the item sold and enter a unit price. The system will then work out the gross amount based on this figure and the VAT rate that you enter next. Choose an appropriate VAT rate from the drop down list. This will update the VAT amount and gross box automatically. If you select a manual VAT rate, you can enter a specific amount in the VAT amount box. Alternatively, you can enter a gross amount first and the system will then work out the VAT and net amount based on the VAT rate you choose. You can add multiple line items on an invoice by hitting the Add New Line link. Remove a line you no longer need by clicking on the blue cross next to it. The summary box is optional and allows you to enter additional text which will appear at the top of the invoice. You can review how your invoice looks at any time by clicking on the preview button at the top of the page. Finally, select a bank account in the bank details drop down box. The bank account you select will display the account details of the bank in the payment slip of the invoice so your clients can easily make payment. If you would like to change the preset payment advice text shown on the PDF invoice, simply click Edit Invoice Payment Text. The Manage Attachments link will allow you to upload and attach any files related to this invoice, such as terms and conditions. Simply click Upload Files, choose a file saved on your computer and then click Attach to do this. Remember, if you have any questions about creating an invoice or any other Clearbooks features, we have a wealth of support documentation, an active help community and our friendly UK-based support team who are always happy to help. Thank you for your time.